Hi, I'm Pilar Kuhn, and this is Podcasts, Pilar and the World of Dogs. So people often say, is this hair or fur? Actually, folks, I got news for you. It's hair. It's all hair. There's a fallacy in thinking that some dogs are hypoallergenic and others aren't. So let's talk about hair for a second. Why is it that the hair on your eyebrows is a different texture and consistency and length than, say, the hair on your head? It's because of the growth phase of the hair. The same thing applies to dogs. Shorter coated dogs have a much shorter growth span for their hair. A longer coated dog, it's a longer growth span, so the hair's different texture, different lengths. Also, there are two coats to most dogs, an undercoat and a top coat. The dogs like a poodle or even a bouvier, they tend to have a double coat that gets tighter and curlier and lays closer to their skin. People with allergies to dogs actually don't have an allergic reaction to the dog itself. They have an allergic reaction to saliva and dander, the flaky skin that comes flying off. So a shorter coated dog with hair, kind of like your eyebrow hair, is a much more prone to release dander and saliva than a longer coated dog. So if you think that you might be allergic to dogs or somebody in your family is, but you still want a dog, there are dogs that can help reduce the amount of allergens in your household, but the bottom line is they all have hair. So just remember, a dog is a dog is a dog, and hair is hair. I'm Pilar Kuhn, and these are our podcasts.